The secret to cooking a great steak is really simple. Start out with fantastic beef, very, very important. Make sure that you've dried the beef so it's got no juices attached to it. Oil and season it with salt really well. So just oil on the steak. Good covering with oil. And then a really good seasoning with salt. And then whether you've got a fantastic wood-fired barbecue like this or a barbecue at home, or even you're cooking in a pan, get really nice high heat so you get a crust because that's what you're looking for. Nice caramelised crust, nice saltiness, and very importantly, beautiful melting interior. So I've got the Greenham's Yearling, which is a fantastic product. Just putting it straight down on the bars. And of course, the Cape Grim 36 month, beautifully marbled, cut into the smaller steak here. And we just let nature take its course by cooking, turning it as least amount of times as possible so we get a nice crust on it, turning it over, and then making sure, very, very importantly, that we put it in a warm place to rest. So I'm just turning the steak at 45 degrees to give it a really nice grill mark. It doesn't add anything to the flavour, but it's beautiful presentation. So turning the greenums. Again, you can see nice char marking on the steak. And then with the 36 being a smaller steak, it's just about ready. So now we're going to do the very important part of cooking any kind of meat, resting. So with the Cape Grim, beautiful char mark, up here in a warm place and give it a nice rest. Barbecue at home, up on the rack, turn the barbecue down or in a warm oven. Give it that 10 minute rest and you will be rewarded with beautiful juicy steak. So I'm going to carve the 36 month first. Just sliding it off the bone. And then all we need to do is a little bit of sea salt. Really important, you season the meat again with that caramelization, it's great. A lemon wedge. and a splash of olive oil. And what's fantastic about that is that steak in its natural state. So if you've got a great steak, you don't need to eat anything else with it except for a fantastic fresh salad. To make a nice fresh salad that goes beautifully with beef, it's terrific to start off with a mixture of nice, dry, well-washed salad leaves. Add in quality red wine vinegar or lemon juice and extra virgin olive oil, about a third vinegar to olive oil, sea salt to season, freshly ground pepper and that's just going to help this salad come to life. Toss it gently, really make sure you don't overdress but it's also important that it's not underdressed. A really well dressed salad is a beautiful thing and there you have it, perfect with a steak.